All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Good morning, episode Meredith. two of or episode three. Sorry, episode five Lily of says, Lake Mickey and June Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Yeah, sure I can find that. I think I know where that is. All right, have a great day. Great. Right. We have oh, a letter for you. Way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. You won't? <laughs> no, it's about something else. What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the okay. hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. Alright, so what we're doing today is definitely we're gonna do all the precautions. And then we're gonna go ahead and head to Mo's Diner to uh, do a little arcade thing. Because I saw, we saw one in the last episode and I'm very, very excited to go check it out. It's been a, a hot minute since I saw an arcade How machine. Or well, got the player one. So this will be as uh, close as we get to it. Once again, we're going over here. I swear this has been our first stop for like the like past the idea, couple of days. Hmm. Let's take a closer look at today's weather now. Okay. Number two oh and nine. We got a Pakash for Here's you. Here's your mail. Sure is. Okay. Next stop will be out of sight. We got that right. We'll uh, we'll be there faster than you can say. Ciao, we're there. See what I did there? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I try to be funny, but I don't know. I want to say I'm the most funny person ever. Uh, let's see. We need to be on this one. Also, I uh, got myself a little bit of an injury because I was uh, I actually was uh, between episodes turning on. You might I'm not sure you can see it in the back or not, but I do have a, a 3D Elegoo Mars printer. We're gonna be playing some uh, some printing some D and D minis. I could probably put some. Photos on the screen right now is what I'm no working answer. on. Also, there's nobody home, so we're just gonna drop the package to the door. You know, that's how I like my package. Just dropped to the door. It's the best way, you know? Uh, let's see. Our next step, however, is going to be right over here with number 104. Hello, 104. We got you a nice little letter, I guess. Which is nothing too spectacular, I suppose. But yeah, we're gonna go over there. Uh, let's see. Well, actually, we probably wanna go over here, because, like, we're gonna go over here afterwards. Actually, no, wait. Which actually is best way to go over here to. Um, I already forgot what her name is. The Lady with Little Cats. Which I'm on. She seems like a nice lady. A little bit crazy, but, you know. Don't we all love a little bit crazy over here? At least I know I love crazy. It's like, uh, that Frozen song, you know? I think it's, it's like, love is an open door. Bird just, like, literally ends, like... No one's even gonna... Will you marry me? I love crazy! Okay, here we are. We're gonna go to the right over here. Say hi to crazy cat lady. Maybe. Actually not. No, I guess not. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Don't think I've been to this house before, so we'll meet, maybe we'll meet someone new today. We'll also have a little of the a movie night tomorrow, I believe, with Um what's her face? Lori? The the, the car mechanic of town. Who probably is sixteen years old and honestly, sixteen year olds and like already being able to fix cars, that's that's honestly pretty impressive. I would classify it as impressive, to be honest. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Looks like it could be like the box for like a uh, a violin or a tiny guitar, maybe a ukulele. Also, all incredible, incredible instruments. For some reason, that word escaped me. Like, what's the word for it again? 
Oh, no. Uh -oh. For a second, I got afraid I glitched my car. And, like, I was not able to enter that, which would have been kind of awful. Uh, well, I think, actually, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go without the map. Because I think I know exactly where I need to go next. Oh, also passing Robert again. So actually, you know what? I will use the map real quick. Oh, no, actually, wait. Oh, we're still going past Robert, so, you know. He's going to go to the left here. Let's see what Lori thought of the love bug. Because we got a movie night with her, and we're going to watch The Nightmare of Elm Street. Which is going to be incredible. I believe that, truly. Okay, hello, Lori. Oop. Hello. Hey, Lori. Did you watch The Love Bug? Hey, Miss W. Yes, I did, and I guess I liked it. You guess? You can say you loved it. You don't have to hide it from me, Lori. You, know, you can you say loved you loved it. The love bug. I guess it wasn't bad. It was really fun, actually. See? Ancient isn't all bad. You still ready for Sunday? I have never been more ready. It's going to be rad. Damn. Can't wait. Me neither. See you then. Yeah, it's nice. Like, you know, we're not like, watch from, let her watch a movie that her parents would really watch, let her watch. Which, I don't know. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? I honestly wouldn't know. I'm not a parent. So, yeah. It's a little bit different then, isn't it? Okay, next stop, we're all going to go towards Robert. So, there'll be a little bit of drive skis. But, I'm sure it's going to be worth it. Hopefully, he's still in a good mood and isn't ready to still chainsaw the town hall. That would be bad. Huh. I don't think I ever saw that one before, but I'm not sure. Okay. Hello, Robert. Wait. What is that icon? Does it mean I can, like, take his car? Oh. Oh, we're bringing a... A briefcase, I guess. Hi, Robert. Here's the mail. Um, Thanks, Meredith. And uh, sorry for leaving all of a sudden. Ma'am, you have a suitcase on your hand. No problem. Leaking roofs don't fix themselves. Well, it was just I needed some space. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. Nothing wrong with that. I know what you mean. Cool. Thanks. Cool. I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. <laughs> let's see what's gonna happen. A dentist appointment. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? So, no news regarding those apartments? Nothing. Hallelujah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Wild card wild plan? Card plan? Wild card plan. Yes. Also, highly confidential. Ah. Oh, come on. I won't tell a soul. Yeah, but no. Maybe later. It's still work in progress. Okay. Good luck with that. Nothing wrong with it being a little snoopy, you know? Okay. Yeah, why are we carrying a briefcase? Oh, wait, that's the briefcase. That's the, the movie box thing, isn't it? That's probably it. Oh, sorry, Robert. I damaged your car. Terribly sorry. I'm just, I'm just going to get the hell out of here. God, you know, this game is honestly, it's it's really beautiful. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I wish I could learn what could learn how. I mean, I can learn. I just, like, have no idea where to start with, like, like, making all these rocks and, like, I don't know, the character models. Like, honestly, imagine if someone wanted to make a tool, like, entirely with, like, a billion resources just to make, like, generated characters, which would be incredible. And I would love that, because I would definitely love to uh, try my hand at, I don't know, making a game like this. It seems a lot of fun, to be honest. But, you know, maybe one day. Because there's more to games than just models. There is... A mil Someone live in a cave here or something? Is this supposed to be here? Cause like
Huh. Oh, wait. It's probably because do it because, like, we're still carrying this thing. Okay, I have to put that back. Okay, let's see. Can we now put the mail in? Here's your mail. <sighs> like, I, I have no idea who lives here because, like, I don't see a house or anything, but, you know, good for you. Good for you. Ooh, got him. That's a beautiful sight. You know what we're going to do real quick? We're going to get out. And we're going to take a picture of this. Yeah, we do have, like, seemingly a, a limited amount of pictures we can take with the bot camera thing. Which, if you guys remember from the last episode, from, uh, in this case, from yesterday, is there was... I don't know, this camera we got from the general store, the convenience store, if you want to call it, that required us to take pictures. And I think once we have 12 pictures, we're supposed to return it. Which is something I we should try. Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I also just don't want to take pictures of random things, you know? Just for the, I don't know, for the sake of like keeping it nicely. Hi. Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey or June? Or both? Uh, to both. Both. Both is Here good. You go. If you get the reference, by the way, let me know in the comment section down below. Damien savior in the hour of darkness. Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Hello, June. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you, too. Woo! Woo! What kind of paper? Money. Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. Rolling paper? Yeah, you know, for homemade cigarettes that make you feel funny. Of course. Funny? Yeah, funny. Or really hungry. It's for rolling doobies. You know, with weed. Ah, that kind of paper. I like being oblivious sometimes. Eh, no harm in that. Amen, sister. Thanks for the delivery. You're welcome. Nice RV, by the way. Is it yours? It's a map. Yeah, it's awesome. We borrowed it. Joan, can you get in here, please? Now. Oh, that's my cue. It was nice meeting you. Sweet, Meredith. Can you, like, not tell the authorities your whole life story? Jesus. It was just being honest, dude. I mean, you know, I'm not going to report you or anything. We're just going to get high with all them doobies? That's up to you. You know, don't hate someone for doing something if you, if you don't do it yourself. And, like, even if you don't really like it, it's like, who are you to, like, deny them their... The thing that, you know, gives them pleasure. Hello, unless, like, you know, it's actually hurting other people, then... By all means, tell them your opinion. Well, so here's that farm again. Hope, uh, how Mr. Oh, Mr. Reynolds is doing well. Right, he's the DJ and, uh... Oh. <laughs> right, he's the DJ and a farmer, which is interesting. Conveniently, this, like I said, on the route planning is that, uh, where we wanted to go. Which is going to be both... Yeah, it's gonna be both things. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go play some arcade cabinet. Okay, I really need to learn how to drive. But I also saw this amazing topic later where the guy is like where someone tried out how much ruckus can you cause? Or like how far does the game allow you to cause ruckus? The furthest he got was actually making a a little bit of a a blockade for driving cars. Press like a reaction from the devs, which is like wholesome. Like you know, it's like I was like like to see my devs making replies to uh, you know people playing the games. All right, so this is what we all been waiting for: Ghost Blasters. I probably won't go on for too long. Oh, because okay, I just kind of like Stardew. Pew, pew. 
Okay. Okay, so far it's looking pretty good. Hamburger. So I assume... Actually... Okay, so the top score was at 10,000. If I can, I would like to break that. Ooh. Ooh, that was scary. That was actually killed me. Ah, we're starting to wave. Okay, so the hamburgers is your... Your one-ups, I guess? That's what it seems like, at least. Okay, definitely... S oh. Okay, we're doing fine. Oh. Big enemies, huh? Okay. Okay, okay. You got this. Ooh. Health. I see, I will gladly take that. So every level will complete we gain a thousand. We're doing pretty good. Like, honestly, I just want to break the, the record. That's all. If I can break the record, I'll be uh, more than happy. Which actually, I don't know. I wonder if there's any people yet who are uh, going to be like, Hey, I've reached like this high score. It's definitely not, not a super hard game. It's definitely, definitely meant to be easy. Ah, darn. Oh, crap. Okay, that should be the high score, though. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I'm pretty good. Oh, I shouldn't play this for much longer. Maybe there's like some random kid who would like to play. Okay, we're doing good. We got this. Okay, let me just, uh... Oh. Huh. Well, yeah, I mean, it definitely beat that hard score. I guess I would just have to, like, go game over. And I... I don't know. I don't want to intentionally game over. That doesn't seem like a lot of fun. But that is probably just my opinion. That was fun, though. I enjoyed that. You no, know, it's like a casual, nice game, and mini game in a game. Allowing to have some fun with things. Okay, we're probably also gonna have to go buy it, Angie, to return the uh, the movie box, which we're gonna do. And I think actually, wait, what did I forget? Or is that just part of the, uh, the thing? I hope it is. Guess I'm not entirely sure. But you know, only one way to find out. You know, just because I'm, I'm curious, I want to do something. We're going to stop here at the convenience store. I know I said I wasn't going to take random pictures, but also, I don't know. There's just one thing I really want to try out. And that is to see what happens if this camera thing becomes full like do we have to return it to the, the convenience store maybe let's try it out I'm just gonna walk in here like yo use your camera do you like it back oh hello how's the photography coming along uh. my photography quest has been completed here's your equipment back okay then 
Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Thank Will you. do. See you tomorrow. Okay. So I wonder if we're going to get extra pictures or stuff we can look back at. Do we get the camera back? That kind of thing. That'll be interesting to see. The next stop is uh, right over there, though. Not that far ahead. This uh, good old Angie. And deliver back the movie box. But yeah, sh Angie together with Robert currently seem to be two of the possible romantic NPCs you can, I don't know, do romantic stuff with. Oops, left the package in the truck. Uh, if it wasn't for stuff like this, I would forget my own head if it wasn't for me. Oh, did I make an oopsie? Because I'm pretty sure I did. Might cause a bit of a problem because I'm slightly in the way, but nothing wrong with causing a little bit of a chaos. Hello, Angie. We got your video box back. Hi, Angie. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. <laughs> right, right. Uh. Yeah, she isn't as peppy. That's true. Is everything okay? You don't seem your usual peppy self. You don't know me, Meredith, okay? This can be a stressful job. Okay, I'll... Okay. I know a thing or two about stressful jobs. I'll leave you be. Yeah, actually, now's not a great time. There's two more movies on the counter. If you could deliver those, that'd be peachy. Hmm. Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. Ooh. I've learned a long time ago to not say this to women. But you know... <laughs> Best not to mix these two up. Mm-hmm. Great. Thanks. I appreciate it. Bye. She didn't even say bye back. Honestly, she's just being a little bit rude. I could just go with these in my hand, right? So where do I deliver them? Oh, not that far from here. Sure, we can deliver those. Could be that hard of a job. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe like, maybe like Robert, like maybe she'll also start apologizing more. It's like, so sorry. And yeah, you know, that kind of thing. Mr. Mackey, I've got this movie box for you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could you? I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. Jaws it is. Have a nice day. Okay, so I guess we're giving them Joss. All right, let's return to the post office and call this day and night. And we have done everything on our calendar. We sure freaking have. All right, perfect. Also, what I've learned on that, uh, going to the post office, I don't necessarily need to park if I don't feel like it. I can just like go over here and be like, step out and we're good. Okay, let's see what's gonna go on. Rice residence, Saturday evening. Steve again. Hey, Em, it's me, oh, okay. <laughs> wow, I just like instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Probably. Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. Know what I mean? Oh yeah. man, I had that once when Barry bought me lilacs and the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What I'm sure I do. With old phone numbers? You go, must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and oh. then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Hmm. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. Be square? Got it. Yeah, I'd say we could meet her, right? I mean, I know we always have... The Countess and the Carpenter. 
for a lordly evening for, you know, the most movie night. words Cecilia had uttered in a long time. They were instantly followed up by, Get out! When she saw the surprised face of the carpenter's uh. apprentice, instead of her niece, Anna. Apparently, her hosts wasted no time in addressing the problem of a malfunctioning bathroom faucet. Okay. That seems fine, I think. Oh. We're still doing this? Why? She should just really take her time, you know? The store comes with you, which is probably true. So far, I've delivered quite a few packing letters, home movies, and even a living creature. We sure have. We sure have. I wonder what next week will bring. Which is actually going to be the last week in the game, but not before ending this week with two meetings with friends. Lori and Kay. An old one and a very new one. Should be interesting. Okay. Not bad. All right, Dill. With that all on set. Oh, we actually already. Hey, M. M. Oh. Up here. Aya. Should I just come up? Come on up. You just have to watch your step on the third leg. Should be good. What? I have to. I have to what on the what now? What on on the what now? It's fine. Cross my heart and hope to die. Scout's honor. Huh. Look, you you were never even in the scouts. Okay, so this is Sunday, right? Up in one piece. Phew. I'm up in one piece. It's all good. Call off the dogs. I can get restarted. That's a very tall tower, I think. <laughs> so glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? It is. Yeah, it bring <sighs> brings back memories, doesn't it? Any memory in particular you're thinking of? Hmm. Uh. Those times I came up here by myself at night when the stars were out, so serene. Yeah, I've had many of those nights too. Still have them, in fact. Hey, remember when I snuck in those <laughs> beers from Uncle Stan? And they were really disgusting, and you puked all over the rail? In fact, wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was. Ew, oh, did you have to bring that up again? I was not counting on getting that much in touch with my younger self. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. Understandable. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. Aww. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. <laughs> and maybe now it's time for something different. Is it now? Providence Oaks different enough for you? Well, maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something or someone? Hmm. That's for me to know and me to find out. Oh, there she goes with the crazy eye. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm backing off. Uh, let's see. What about you? How have you been? I mean, Nice really, wholesome conversation really, here. Really? It's been great and it's been tough. You know, I guess it's like that for everyone. I mean... I wanted to go to art school, yes, but turns out I wasn't good enough, or Aww. at least that's what they told me when I applied. Such so a shame. I decided to stay and do my own thing, make music, perform and stuff, you know. I picked up some shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, we got married, and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, sure having Max gave things a different rhythm, but... 
I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland. Lined up a few interesting gigs. Okay. To balance, but fun. Sounds like you were ready to leave Pio at that point. Yeah, just like that. Uncle Stan got sick. Yeah. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music. But I just couldn't let so I stayed. Helped out nursing Uncle Stan. Picked up his shifts at the diner. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. She did the right thing, though, I think. So you don't stop to think. Well, I don't know. I mean, you should be the every family, especially if you care about them. Actually, really great. We divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. And now you still work at the diner? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put oh, something above case the diner. The diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. <laughs> too definitive. But I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. That seems like a good idea. The way things ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. He basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family yeah. of my own. Right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl all over this rail just like we did. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a respectable future. Uh, so yeah, it's been tough, but looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. I'm so sorry I wasn't there. I don't want you to feel sorry. We all have our own lives to live, right? I mean, I'd say she can still feel I mean, sorry, right? I guess you could have done more to keep in touch. You were really kind of a turd in that respect, I have to tell you. But that's life, right? It's in the past. I'm just glad you're here, right now, looking at the lake with me. It's good to know it's never too late to make new Well, memories. they set the name of the game. Amen no credits. That. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> so, ready to descend to the world below? Nah, I think I'll stick around. Enjoy the view some more. <laughs> the view from the top of the ivory tower. Be careful not to get too used to it, young lady. Hmm, okay. Thanks for the invite. I'm glad I came by. Just try to cut down the word count on the answering machine next time, would you? Oh, you better buy yourself some <laughs> tapes for your machine, Weiss. Just kidding. <laughs> you know how I get when I get nervous. Thanks for joining, Em. This was good. Okay. Vice resident Sunday evening. Hello? You're speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? I'm sorry. I'm not interested in telemarketing. Meredith, silly. It's me. Hang up. Please, tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. Add it 87 in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster deal. Calm down, Steve. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? They I really don't give a crap about this store. Like, I don't like Steve. They want to buy 250,000 copies of Added 87. 250,000. Multiply that by, like... 35 bucks. What? That's millions of dollars of revenue. M -m -m millions and, and okay, yeah. the start. Listen, I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Please, please check, check, double check, check it right away. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? I'll see what I can do, Steve. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so oh, thank excited. fuck. He's going to leave us alone uh, for a day. 
so excited. And I just can't hide it. It's official. I love horror movies. A Nightmare on Elm Street is radical. It was amazing. Thank you for watching with me, Miss W. So, like, um, at this point, you probably know it's like the video is probably a little bit longer than I intended, but hey, this was a very long day. Like, we actually basically did two days in one go. You weren't scared at all? Nope. Told you. Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. I can't wait until I move out. Yeah, oh well. I hope you had fun. Yeah, I did. Maybe it's about time I convince my parents that I'm old enough. I'm almost an adult, and I don't want to wait until I've moved out until I can watch another horror movie. Don't worry. We can always do this again sometime. Yeah, I had fun. I hope you did too. For sure. Maybe we can visit Angie's store and find a new movie to watch. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. Good night, Miss W. Goodbye, Lori. Lori's great, to be honest. Well, Monday, September 8th. Oh, Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hey, Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. Oh, no, it's the FBI. I, I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. True. Oh, right. Must have missed it. Oh? I must have missed it. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office, I would like to ask you... So with that all said, I think I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a cliffhanger here. We're going to see what this guy wants from us next time. The question is, are we in trouble? So yeah, with that all on set, um, I wish you guys a very, very good continuation of your evening. I'm going uh, to be heading the heck, the heck out of here. Um, and yeah, hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, give me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give me a thumbs down. It's your opinion, and your opinion matters. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of this kind of content, or maybe other types of content. Who knows? And yeah, we're excited. We are we're excited. This game is getting good. We have one week in the game left. We're going to see what's going to happen. We're going to be potentially running into some trouble after this. We'll see. Um, but yeah. As always, though, the last thing I'll say, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you want to follow me on Twitch, join the Discord, or any of my so find any of my social media, everything is in the description down below. You can find everything there. Check it out there. Leave a comment if you want to. And as always... I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.